we are announcing to the AMIA conference attendees the information about uh, the subspecialty of clinical informatics and uh, getting the information out, uh, allowing people to know what the eligibility criteria are, what the structure of the new subspecialty will be, and uh, how to go about applying, what the timeline is for doing that, what the uh, content of the examination will be, uh, all the details that anyone would need to know about the new subspecialty of clinical informatics. Well, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, it's something that I think has been due for a long time, and I'm really glad that Amy has worked well with the different boards in order to get the clinical informatics board started. Uh, I'm very interested in doing uh, the subspecialty boards in, um, in clinical informatics, and I'm very excited about the whole prospect. Um, so it's really on my agenda. I've been involved in um, clinical informatics for the last 10 years. And so I'm glad to see it finally recognized as a significant and uh, accepted subspecialty of internal medicine, or, which is my background. Clinical informatics or you know, informaticians has been involved with medicine for many years. And there's now formal recognition within the medical field, uh, the medical certification field, if you will, of physicians who spend a large portion of their time in clinical informatics now getting recognition, uh, board subspecialty certification in the field. And it's, you know, a, a big deal is that it's available to all 24 uh, medical specialty boards, physicians who are boarded in uh, any of the 24 specialty boards. So that's the first time that that has ever occurred before, that a specialty or a subspecialty has been opened up to all 24 boards. I think it's an exciting um, prospect and with the new healthcare reform, HIT, high tech, all that stuff, it's going to be very important that we develop the pipeline of people who both are skilled, we believe, I believe I'm already skilled, but people who can also contribute maybe to the education of future doctors. I myself, I'm on faculty at Emory, I'm at the VA, so we have new uh, young folks coming up who need to be trained and they'll need to have the board certified people to do that. Uh, Amy has been uh, very instrumental in helping get clinical informatics approved through the American Board of Medical Specialties. And uh, as such, Amy has a long and uh, supportive history of the whole field of clinical informatics. So uh, Amy has partnered with the American Board of Preventive Medicine to uh, you know, get this subspecialty approved in the first place. And Amy, we hope, will do a lot of the training and furthering up the, the field as uh, time marches on. Well, I certainly think that with the rich depth of experience that AMIA faculty has, I mean, all you have to do is walk around the symposium here and there's so many great sessions and education, people just talking and there's so much to learn that I think that they're in a really good position to pull all this information together and all this knowledge and present a really good review course for us to, um, you know, not only prepare for the board exam, but on an ongoing um, kind of preparation for the maintenance and certification process. Uh, first of all, I think the level of expertise at EMEA, you know, the, the experts are here. So uh, I'm really uh, just very interested in sort of studying under and with the experts. Um, also, I think just the history of EMEA, I mean, it is our professional home, and uh, I think that really speaks for itself. You know, it's where I would come uh, for that kind of material who better knows what uh, medical informatics is all about. I mean, the, the major challenge is to figure out um, what the content should be, what, uh, what do people need to know to be able to, uh, be able to contribute to the field. And so Amy is certainly the, the best uh, source of that.